Hey, what up everyone? Michael B. Petty here. We got another Amblin Read React. It's emergency room visits. Something is wrong. Now I thought about doing another green screen cutout, whatever that I've been doing lately, but since there was the word emergency room in it and something is wrong, I was like, let's be a little bit more tactful than uh, green screening my face onto someone else's face. I mean, I thought of some things, but I was like, that might be a little pushing it too far. So I was like, you know what? Let's just react to this. I am hoping, I'm not hoping that something is wrong. I am just hoping that she isn't just a wasting people's time or wasting resources in the emergency room for something that she could have easily gone and saw a regular doctor for, but she refuses to get any kind of health insurance or a primary care physician or even see an urgent care, really. She waits until the last second to go to the emergency room. So I'm hoping it's not that. I'm hoping that there is actually something in fact wrong that would actually require her to go to the emergency room, but I'm not very hopeful in the past, that hasn't been the case, so I doubt that that will be the case now. So, without further ado, let's just get into this damn react. Hey guys, welcome Ooh, to new she's vlog. She's not looking too good. Yes, I still have my that rash. That is the case. I have come to very, very high terms here with the fact that I am allergic to the makeup wipes that I bought. So I threw them away. Hmm. No more. I wonder. I'm gonna go back to. <laughs> So people were bringing this up last time. She went on this whole like tirade because Trisha Paytas put at the in her box about how makeup wipes are so wasteful and da 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 da. So what does our girl do instead of I don't know giving them to Dana or giving them to Becky or get, fuck giving them to Eric or whatever? She decides to just throw them away because you know that 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 screams environmentally conscious. Neutrogena, because that's who treats me right. My face has always been super sensitive. I should have known this was um, gonna happen. No judgment, okay? A rash on my face, <clears throat> a rash face. Tell me, do you guys know who Andy Melanakis is? I got peas on my head, but don't call me a pea head. Bruce Lee's on my head, but don't call me a Lee head. Now please excuse me, I got to get my tree fed. <laughs> Any hoozle. Oh my God, that was so funny. You're so unique and quirky. So I have gotten some questions that people ask me. A bigger girl, any hygiene tips, etc., etc. No one so wants to know. No. Deodorant I use, and this is so random. But I use. So, what does you putting deodorant on have to do with being a big person? Like, is there a special kind of fat deodorant that fat people wear? Like the fuck? Like that? Someone, someone wants to know what kind of deodorant you you wear, as if it would be any different than every other teenage adult would wear. Like I. Really? Someone really asked you that? Did that really happen, Amberlynn? I don't believe you. Secret clinical strength in the invisible solid, completely clean. This is one of the ones that I always go for. It smells super good. It really works all day long, if you will. I know some people, sometimes they like have to touch up their deodorant or whatever. Not when you use that. Y'all, I'm pumped. Oh, okay. I got a veggie burger and it has cucumbers on it. It has a tomato. Usually it doesn't, so I gotta take that off. But the cucumbers make it super fresh. And then I got these, they're called like a ranch, ranchero. Ra what is it called, babe? Ranchero. Ranchero. Becky is over it. Becky is 100,000% over it. She can't even be bothered to like even look up at her when responding to her. Like tots. And there's like cheese in them. We got some. Whole Once again, Amber is equating like vegetarianism with like a healthy diet, which is you can be a vegetarian, you can be a vegan and be incredibly unhealthy still. If you eat a lot of fried, unhealthy processed foods, it's still it doesn't matter if it's vegan or vegetarian. It's still not great for you. And it's very high in calories. In fact, I would I would almost argue that like if you were going to do this, you'd have to be more conscious of the amount of calories you're going to consume because, like, there is a lot of vegetarian and vegan food that's very high. Like, the things that people gravitate towards are the things that are, like, the most high, highly caloric. Jalapenos, and it's just really good. So, I'm freaking hungry. I hate when she does that. Y'all, it feels so good out here. This is a perfect fall day. It's been raining, and thank God my spot where I usually sit right here didn't get wet because it's underneath this she has all of these new torrid clothes that she's been getting and she wears the same things every time like you sh she sh she has enough clothes where i would imagine she could wear a shirt 
a different shirt like every day of the month if she wanted to. But we never see that. It's the same clothes every time. Where are all these clothes going? Is it because they don't really fit you and they're uncomfortable? Awning, Twinkie. So the weather's pretty cold. It's actually supposed to snow around 1 a.m. You guys, look at her cute little sweater. She was so excited to put it on. I put it on I'm right I'm sure she was. Because it's warm in the house. She don't need it on in there. Unless she wants to, of course. But I can tell when she's hot. So I'll take it off of her. But Girl, I had the little... Can't, you can't tell when she needs to go outside. I mean, so, I mean, I would... I would. I doubt that you are that in tune with your dog's needs, Amberlynn. Because otherwise your dog wouldn't be morbidly obese, too. Neck part. I wish I was vlogging it like open and I was gonna put it on her but instead she jumped right in it like she was so excited to put it on her head went right through the neck part it was so cute I wish I would have been vlogging it oh my god it was just like my baby so oh for those god. of you who remember when I fell it wasn't this step it wasn't this one it was this one my foot went pew, and I fell flat on the floor. These acts, I can't. These sound effects for all those steps were the same height. I, you're, you just can't lift your legs up. That's sad, dog. You ready to go inside? Acting as if these so, steps are any different than one another. So I'm gonna put on some jams and some music and get. You some know, wisdom. Eric is the one using that. Eric and Ricky are so the ones using that pressure cooker. I don't want to say about 20 minutes ago. I just got really cold with shivers, a little bit of nausea. Um, like I'm freezing right now. I was sitting on the floor and the floor is like super cold because we have like, what is it, hardwood floors? Mm -hmm. Um, so I don't know if it's because the floor was cold, but I'm like freezing. And I'm a little Sounds nervous, like you're getting a fever. So I'm, I'm not like getting sick or whatever, but... <laughs> You probably are because you're finally going out now that Destiny and Dana are around and you're around a child and children are just like human Petri dishes. And I would imagine that your immune system hasn't really been challenged really in the past year and a half where you've been like holed up at home. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if you're getting like some kind of flu or a cold. I would say keep me in your thoughts, but... This Girl... <laughs> gets cold once and already is asking for thoughts and prayers like how dramatic so i'm just gonna sit in my room for a bit and try to get as warm as possible i did take my temperature but it was only 96.6 .6, which doesn't really make that's sense. low it's like low i don't know yeah but i'll keep you guys updated i mean anything below 97 so is pretty fucking low i have a heating pad on my lap to help um i took my temperature again 99.9 .9. It's supposed to snow tonight, but I think if my temperature, sorry for all the pills on my blanket, but um, if my temperature gets to 102, I think I'm going to have to go to the ER because it's like, could be anything. We're like at 99.9 .9 and we're already like talking about going to the ER. Like... It's seven o'clock at night. Like, take you take some fucking Tylenol and like see what the fuck ha you're already like. I guarantee you she probably hasn't even taken a Tylenol yet. Take like three acetaminophen because you're so big, you, your liver could probably handle that. And see what happens. Like, I can't. We're already talking about going to the ER. I'm already gonna be pissed. I'm already gonna be pissed. I can already tell. I can already tell. Blue strep throat. How um, been being like? I honestly think that 102 isn't even that. Let me look real quick. I want to look. When to go to ER for fever. Let's see what it is for an for an adult. 103. That's that's what I thought. A 103 or higher is okay, it's time to go to the ER. <laughs> Having pain in my back, which I talked about last vlog, like I just don't know. So Right now we're at 100.7 and it's dude. been an hour since the last time I checked it. And we're at the... Oh, shit. Look how dry my lips are. I've been trying to drink a lot of water, though, but my temperature slowly rose, even though I took um, NyQuil. NyQuil? Why would you take NyQuil? Just take Tylenol, dog. And my temperature got up to 103.1. Okay, which, that's probably time to go to the ER. My brain, like, felt drunk. 
it's so weird so i came here and they took my blood i peed for them they swallowed my nose so hopefully we can get this she probably out. has the flu i feel horrible so we've been back home for about nine hours now and i slept um i'm not really gonna talk about my diagnosis um let's just say i'm gonna heal with medicine hopefully um she had an infection of some kind i would put money down i bet she probably has a kidney infection because it's if it was in her back especially if her upper back it's that's where her kidneys are she had been talking about having pain in her upper back she's probably not cleaning right down there so she probably had a bladder infection that turned into a kidney infection and the dehydration. I'm going to go with a kidney infection. I don't know why you wouldn't say. Like, I mean, you're going to vlog yourself at the ER. First of all, dog, if you can vlog yourself at the ER, you're probably not that sick. But um, that could have been all cleared up if she had just made a doctor's appointment and gone and saw her doctor. She had been complaining about not feeling well for a couple days. But instead of, like, I don't know, going to an urgent care or going to a doctor, she was going to wait it out. And then she ended up in the ER. Just like everyone else. that. Ha I mean, I can't. It's not the flu or anything like that, which is kind of bittersweet. I almost wish it was the flu. She has a kidney but infection. It's okay. Um, right now I'm having some chicken noodle soup with a lot of pepper because it's like the best way to have it. Um, I feel absolutely miserable. I haven't even changed my clothes because that's gross. I, just, I don't even have like. <laughs> this is some insider. Whatever. When you get when you come home from the hospital, you the last you, the first thing you should do is try to take a shower and change at least change your clothes. You should at least change your clothes, but you should take a shower too because all of those germs and stuff. Hospitals, they try their best to keep them as clean as possible, but you're at a hospital. There's a bunch of sick people. It's literally a place where sick people go. Any energy whatsoever. We downloaded, was it called Disney Plus? It actually came out today. So we've been watching that, and it's just kind of like, I just feel. It's anno Dude, it's just annoying that she wants people to feel sorry for her, but she's not going to be truthful and honest about what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you want people to feel sorry for you, but in that same regard, you're just not going to, like, give people information about what's going on. So how can someone feel sorry for you if they don't know what the fuck's going on with you? But my plan was to vlog. I wasn't expecting this to happen. My lips are still super dry. Indicates dehydration, even though I am drinking so much water i don't even know how much more i need to drink to not become dehydrated i look like an actual crazy person but i'm gonna eat the soup i'm like can she stop saying i look like an actual crazy person it's someone like you claim to be like have these mental illnesses and stuff like that like you should be a little bit more sensitive than to be like referring to you having messed up hair as being a crazy person we're actually watching finding nemo becky's gonna eat her food and yeah so, I wish and I could now we're outside again. The beautiful snow. I mean, dude, to clickbait your audience with this emergency room visit, something is wrong, and then you dedicate not even a minute of the vlog to it, and then you don't even explain what's going on. You just want to feel. You just want people to feel sorry for you. Like you suck. You suck, Amberlynn. But I'm actually back, or going back to the ER. Um, going back to the ER. Something else came up. Like I said, I just, I don't know if I want to talk about it, so. Then why are you vlogging it? Hoping for the best. I will say, though, the snow falling down feels so good. I'm I've been really hot the last few hours. So and we're, we're going to show the IV. Where are these people now? I find a vein, but they finally did. I might be getting some antibiotics. So I am back from the hospital and, and immediately went out and got food. Some shrimp with some rice and cabbage. I'm going to try to eat it. I still feel kind of so <laughs> yeah. Good thing is I probably shouldn't talk about this right before I eat. I have not puked at all. So I'm happy about that. So on a lighter note, I wanted to show you guys what I got in my Ipsy bag this month. I dude. Ooh girl i <laughs> my uh breakout it's i don't even know better. what to say dude i don't even know what to say like she will use anything in her arsenal to try to get people to feel sorry for her 
But dude, this is pretty fucking low. Like you're gonna go to the ER twice in two days and then want people to feel sorry for you and then you're gonna go straight into an ipsy bag haul. Like, does she not get how this looks? Like, does she not have any idea about like how this comes off to her audience and everything? The optics of this alone are bad. They're just bad. It looks awful. I will say I'm happy with that, but once it rains, it storms, and now that that's getting a little bit better, like around these parts. That's what you're worried about? But we got a Delectable Butter Bomb Hand Cream Triple Citrus Blend. I honestly I don't even care. Cream. I don't care, and this no one cares. Product. It's Cleanse Off Oil. She barely even shows which it. I have never used anything like that before. We got ourselves a lipstick and. So let me under let me get this. Okay, so she was just ta her skin looked fucked. Okay, and so I have a feeling that had more to do with the infection in her body than anything she's allergic to. But in Amber Lynn's brain, we're gonna go into Amber Lynn's brain. She was she thinks that it was tied into her having an allergic reaction to some some of the makeup or the wipe she was using. So why the fuck are you subscribed to a service that gives you different makeups if you have sensitive skin and you are prone to breakouts from being allergic to different products can someone figure that out for me oriza beauty sorry if i'm pronouncing that wrong and the color looks like this so it's like a perfect color this is exactly what i like to go for or at least one of the colors I like to do. This for. camera work is just we off the chain. Gigi Gorgeous, which I love the packaging of this, and I love her. We have a Gigi it's in Gorgeous a white, blush. It's so like in a white compact. Oh up my up god! Show you guys what it looks like. Groundbreaking. <laughs> so I'll be trying that out, and then you can never have too many brushes. I don't know if you guys can tell. You don't even know how to use your brushes, like dog. That. So what's but the point? Who cares? It's glittery, and there's cute little diamonds right here. It's blue. It looks cheap. Even the brush part is blue. It looks cheap. You can definitely never have too many brushes. So that's everything that came in my Yeah, because you use so much of your brushes. So More brushes. actually came in a few days ago. Are so you I kidding me? I would show you what was in there. Girl, you're going to need to unsubscribe from all of these damn uh, subscription services if you're going to pay for these ER bills coming up, dog. Because I have a feeling those ER bills are going to be pretty hefty. There's this Caprice Antioxidant Dew Quench and Glow Serum. And it actually came in this really cute box. I love... Thank God. Oh, my God. I'm so happy for you. We also have Starry Eyes. They actually um, gave me two. It's Indulgent Self-Warming Eye Mask. I usually give these away because eye masks, face masks, anything like that kind of scare me because my face is super sensitive. But you're buying all... You're buying these... Subscri like, what's the point, dude? You are so wasteful these two huge brushes i have never in my life seen such huge brushes and this is actually the boxy charm brand we have ourselves celestial thunder dominique cosmetics and it's really really pretty let me open it uh, you're never gonna use any of this shit dude any Ta of it I love Great. Lucy you have a, you have like five other palettes with those same colors in it. Awesome. Eternal Light, Fireball, Black Matter, Mystic Ice would be fun to play with. You're like the worst Mystic beauty gorgeous. guru person I've ever... I can't. Here's a little sample of some lightweight concealer by Pretty Vulgar. So obviously I'd be using the little white lies. I have very, very pale skin, so I usually go for like the porcelain... Colors. Like you and would know. The last know. thing I got is, I'm pretty sure that's Dose of Colors. <laughs> no, she did not just think that. She thinks that that says Dose. Dose. <gasps> no. Dose? Do she means Dose of Color? She's probably the dumbest person I've ever seen on the internet. Like, real talk. Like, she, may, she makes Chantel look smart. And that's saying something. 
Dose? D- she really wants to be fancy. She thought that she thought sh- she was reading that out loud and she thought like, oh, totally. This is a totally um, exotic brand. Dose of color. She's like Dose of Dose of Kolar. Like, I can't. She is an idiot. She's a literal idiot. I'm not wrong. This is such a cute color. It's in nude. Dose. Nude. Dose. Like the packaging even. It's Dose. Hey guys. She so the she went to college, y'all. Criminal justice night. major. You no never energy. change or take showers. So I woke up really hungry. Like not- I love how she's acting as if like her being sick is why she never like takes a shower. It's like as if that's not like her life 99% of the time. Just to the point of nausea. Yeah. So I got a Caesar salad, which I don't actually pour the dressing on the salad. I literally dip everything. No, you yeah. don't. Don't lie. Why are you lying? Oh, oh, so you're watching my, you're what? Okay. I can't because I'm pretty sure I've literally said that a lot of times in streams or whatever, like a good way, a good hack for salads. If you don't want all the calories of the dressing is you, first of all, you don't dress, you don't dip the salad in the dressing. That's worse. You dip the fork prongs in the dressing and then you take, then you get a bite of salad. But girl, we see the pizza sitting there next to you. And look at the amount of croutons on that bitch. It's practically, it's like 70% croutons, 30% salad. Use less dressing that way. And then I also got this really tiny pizza. <laughs> I'm talking like super tiny, like you can see my hand. That's um, like a normal serving of pizza. Too, but with pepperoni, but I just like it with cheese. My goal is only eat half of this, but like I said, That's not going to happen. Pretty hungry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> After she was just talking about how nauseous and sick she was feeling, she's gonna power through and eat that pizza though. It's like if you guys are like trying to lose weight, cause hashtag me. Um, you wouldn't have gotten the pizza if you were trying to lose the weight. You wouldn't have got the pizza, and you would have got the salad with just some grilled chicken and no croutons. That's what you would have done. Literally, this is what I do. And she's gonna use plastic Depending forks and everything, even though she's at home. Person. She's literally at. You're gonna dip the crouton in the ranch. Okay, I. <laughs> this is so dumb. I can't. I. This is why you're 600 pounds. I don't know what else to say. Like, it's. You're not even telling the hack right. That's not even how you do it. I can't, dude. I just do that. Yeah, because you got to get it. Like you're stupid. Nuts. Yeah, because you you probably they're looking at you like you've never done that a day in your entire ass life. You've never done that. We've never watched you do that. When you go out, when you get the Walmart salads, they're doused in dressing and macaroni salad. And like, you're full of shit, yo. So out here giggling and shit. Ate all I'm the done. croutons, but none of the salad. The rest of this in the fridge. I love me some cold pizza. But actually, you guys, honestly. I'm not a pizza person. Is she really? Like, literally all you do is eat pizza, I feel like. But if I have to eat Did it. Do we see the pizza boxes behind you? If you have to eat it, you don't have to eat any of this. You don't have to be 600 pounds. You choose this. It, I do prefer it cold, but I will say this is from Pizza Hut, which I already said. Something about the crust on these... Um, I think it's like a... It's pan pan, crust. I don't know what it's called, but it's a small, obviously. Babe, what is this called? A pan made? (laughs) What? Okay, a personal pan. Something about... Becky doesn't even look at her when she talks. It tastes like normal pizza crust, so I think that's why I like it. And as you can tell, I barely used any dressing. So I'm done. You barely ate any of the salad. You ate all the croutons almost. Can you drink in my water? Take my meds. Take- so you bought that water thing. See this, and I literally said this. She bought that water thing, and then she's still gonna proceed to just buy and drink a, a ton of bottled water because she's so lazy, so lazy. And then on top of that, it's not even pH water. Like it's not even a pH whatever water, whatever sh- that whole lie she was trying to spin about how she only gets acid reflux when she drinks water that is low in pH or whatever. Like. She's so full of it. I can't with this woman. Hopefully start feeling better. No way to help you start feeling. You oh, on the it. mattress. Okay, so we just watched the last season of But I thought you only used the mattress you think? when you sat in the chairs. I thought it was very Put a fucking sheet on that mattress, really? too. Yeah. 
Why is that? I like how it ended. Woo! The whole time, Becky, you were very unsure about this season. Yes, I was. For me, I feel like the season has been my favorite, and I've thought that pretty much every episode. I was nervous, though, how they were going to wrap up the whole thing. Loved it, though. So, so did Eric and Ricky. Eric liked it a lot more than I thought he was going to, so raise the roof. But yeah, it was really good. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely watch it. It's really good. Um, I know you can buy some of the episodes on YouTube or other places, I'm sure, like Amazon or something. Girl, Ryan Murphy does not need YouTube. you, yeah. it, like, pro great. promoing it's his fucking time. shows. They do just okay. fine without you. So, comment of the day. Oh, Always got to do these comments so of the days. Not feeling well. Surprise for Becky. Helping the homeless. This has almost 4,000 comments. I actually uploaded this not even 24 hours ago. And normally I do comment of the day a little bit like past that. But I actually have a lot of comments on here, which is pretty shocking. Okay. okay. It has always been calm, cool, and collected. It has never been cool, calm, cool, and collected. <laughs> so true. I, don't know. I can't. I mean, maybe you're right. Uh, no, I they're like 100 percent right, right. That I am surprised. There are actual things that pop up and also say collective on here. They're stupid. So it's probably just a common error. So let's see what it says. What is the difference between calm, cool, and collective, and calm, cool, and collected? You really needed to Google this whole ass thing. And it's like I checked, I checked the dictionary, but still do not get it. That's so funny. This is probably boring you guys to death. Collective means done by a group of people. It does not go well with calm and cool. Collected means not distracted, and it can be used with calm and cool. Good. I love a little grammar lesson. <laughs> okay. Dude, you literally just said dose instead of dose. Like. I, maybe she had dulce de leche on the what brain. The F is with all this Harry Potter merchandise all of a sudden. Oh, that's because Dana and Destiny enjoy it a lot. And I did not watch. She has no Harry true Potter identity of her own. She either is copying Pink Sparkles, Dana, like, or whatever Trisha like Paytas, whatever dumb YouTuber so she's following. But me and Becky, we do this thing where she chooses a movie and I watch it, and then I choose a movie and she watches it. Harry Potter was one of those movies. I was dreading it so bad. I went into it thinking I was going to hate it. I actually loved it. <laughs> I loved it so much. One of the best movies I've ever seen. So I've seen the first two so far. I haven't seen all of them. Um, you haven't seen all of them and you're already movies, buying so. Halloween yeah, costumes and stuff. I mean, girl, it is amazing. for someone who likes to read so much, you would think she would go out and get the Harry Potter books and read those. I mean, that would give you something. Maybe that would help with your grammar issues. How bad you are at your job. I think it's true that some people call this my job when it like suits them and fits them. And then they won't call it my job when it suits them and fits them. You realize that there's like thousands of people that are commenting on your thing, right? So like people have different opinions about you, first of all. Second of all, they're trolling the fuck out of you. <laughs> they're not even, they're using this, they're being, an, they're being a dick to you. They're, they're trying to, they're being facetious. They don't really think this is your job. You like to claim this is your job. You do a shit job at your job. That's what they're saying. If this is your job, you put no effort into it. So if you worked at a fast food restaurant all the food would be raw because you'd be too lazy to cook it that's what they're trying to say you're bad at your job and i don't know what that means like you don't amazing you can't figure it job. out i'm kind of like my own boss I'm an eight-year-old could figure that out what i want how i want right and you're an, you're you're bad There's at no it you suck at it we can see right through you alar i can't sure how, but that's okay she's an um, idiot the Shane X Jeffrey is back in 2020. I'm super excited because I will be getting that. Great. It's more They've shit for you to going. not use. I don't know what you're talking about. 912 pounds. I'm not sure what you're talking about. This is why these stupid comment um, things don't make any so sense. People do things that you do does not automatically morally vali validate it. That's not how it works. Amen to that one. Thank yeah, you, Megan this Brown. Too. This happens a lot. 
where like because you're constantly comparing yourself to these like grotesquely wealthy people and how they operate and do things as if that somehow gives you any kind of moral superiority or it, it, it validates your stance on dumb things. I believe they're talking about why you were giving away cash prizes at your Halloween party and your response was, well, Gabby DiMartino does it. Well, she's an idiot. So just because an idiot does it doesn't make it right. <laughs> like, I, ugh really vague comments and i just can't figure out what was said in my past video you can't figure it out because you're too lazy to figure it out that's what it is or your your brain is so dead that like you can't even remember things that happened 24 hours ago becky looks like a grandma now <laughs> Ooh, babe what do you think of that it is what it is it is what it is <laughs> no she's beautiful she i don't even know her. why you would need to even say that to her like, I, if I, it were me, I would spare my partner's feelings and just not even say it out loud to her. Because it's like, why? Like, what's the point? Let's, let me just read the, because you know Becky's not on here checking comments like that. So like, oh, great, we, we need to read it out loud and then ask for her to respond to it. You're a dick, Amber. You're such a dick. You are huge. We need a weigh-in like you're about to pop i'm actually losing weight um i have been i promised myself yeah because you got sick the past two days that's why you've lost weight that i am not going to step on the scale until i'm at a certain weight how would you know if you're at a certain weight unless you get on the scale and see if you're making any progress that makes no sense. You're just so literally in a lot in a video, she got all annoyed at people for guessing her weight. And she was like, you can make the bucos of money. And now she's going to sit here and say that she can tell what she weighs just by looking at herself in a mirror. Girl, first of all, this is the biggest full body length mirror in the world. And second of all, your idea of how you look is completely different than how the rest of the world perceives you. I you think you're skinny, <laughs> but I meant for a YouTube video. <laughs> It's just these comments crack me up because I recently. Oh, we're gonna step on it like, privately. You okay. Look bigger than ever. You do. And I'm over here like. You okay, do look bigger. See. <laughs> oh, see. we'll see. Okay, um, we'll so see. This is gonna be the last one. That Prove I'm us gonna... wrong. Come on, James Bond. Exactly. Once I heard her say that, I immediately went on Amazon and found these really good natural ones that are cruelty free and vegan and are bio degradable. degradable. It doesn't take much to change a habit. She doesn't care though. Only about me, 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 me. Uh. They're talking about the so makeup wipes. Again. I have no idea what you're talking about. So they're talking about the, the makeup video, wipes. I talked about something and they went on Amazon and they found really good nature, natural ones. She's an idiot, dude. Vegan. She's such an idiot. So good. Whatever it was, I'm glad you were able glad. to. Glad. And AKA, about. I don't care. So That's what she's saying video. right now. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. She Bye. sucks. <laughs> what did we learn in this video? Nothing. Amber Lynn is never going to get health insurance. I've come to that conclusion. Um, I don't know what open enrollment is like in Kentucky. I'm sure it's probably a lot stricter over there because Mitch McConnell sucks and a lot of the <laughs> government over there is not the greatest. Um, I know open enrollment ends in California December 7th. So if you live in California and you're trying to get health insurance, you have until December 7th to um, apply for health insurance. Usually that gets extended. It always seems to get extended. But... Um, it's very simple. If you have the money and you can afford it, I would suggest getting health insurance because you never know what could happen. I know I have a friend who um, a couple of years ago, he ended up having to go to the ER and he had like a bill of like $15,000 and he's still to this day trying to figure out how the fuck he's going to pay it off. And I'm just like, I, sh that's why I got health insurance dog. Like I don't like, and so she went twice. And then she wanted everyone to feel sorry for her. Literally at 99.9 .9 degrees, she was literally saying, like, keep me in your prayers as if, like, we're not going to see this for four days. So by the time you're, you're by the time you're probably feeling better, if you're not feeling better, we're not going to see it. Um, second of all, if you can vlog at the ER, then you have no business being at the ER. If you can vlog yourself going to the ER, if you have enough energy to hold up a camera and go like, first of all, they went the second time they went to the ER, there was still daylight outside. So chances are there's probably an urgent care that was still open nearby because urgent care is typically i know where i live our urgent cares are open until like 8 p.m so i am just kind of like 
just yeah let's just waste people's time so you can get some iv antibiotics antibiotics take a few days for them to start working and start feeling better but no amberlin is a me 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 now 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 girl so she's got to go there and get that iv in and get those antibiotics straight into the bloodstream she can't wait to feel better um i think it was a kidney infection i would put money down i'm a betting i'm not really a betting man but if i was in a vet i would say she probably got a kidney infection and she's embarrassed by it because it was probably a bladder infection that that progressed into a kidney infection, which to me is like, Gat, you are really not taking care of yourself down there, dog. I mean, I know women are more prone to bladder infections and stuff like that, but it's my understanding that if you are good with hygiene or if you catch it early, it's easier to um, to um, clear it up. Um, getting a kidney infection from a bladder infection just shows that you're just kind of being neglectful of your health and you're just not listening to your body and the signs that are... Um, you're receiving about what's going on so i don't know i'm not surprised though that she would go there and waste a bunch of stuff like that she's an idiot the dose thing is honest to god the most pathetic thing i think i've heard her say in a while like literally it's a four letter word and it's a pretty common english word it's not that crazy dose d-o-s-e dose like dose of color it even makes sense like I am shocked. I don't know what's going on. I honestly think that is just her not using any of her, not having like any kind of mental acuity or like testing her like brain in any kind of way, be it creatively, logistically, or like, you know, any of those things. So I think she's like starting to like literally lose language and lose like um, comprehensive reading skills. Like I honestly feel like that's what's happening. So, I mean, I don't know. This is just her. This is t very typical of her. Um, I would not be surprised if we see her going to the ER again in the next vlog because that's very much her. Um, she better start pumping out some more videos. And that's probably why we've gotten two videos back to back is because those bills are going to come and they're not going to be cheap. To sit there in an ER room so you can get some IV antibiotics, that's going to be a couple thousand dollars. And she went twice. The the um, the blood test alone is going to be expensive. So And the urine, is, the urine analysis. So those are going to be some pretty hefty bills coming your way, dog. Um, you better get in contact with your local health insurance representatives and get you... It's some decent health insurance. You're lucky that we live in a time where pre-existing, we're denying people health insurance for having pre-existing conditions does not exist right now. But if you're lazy and you just let it lapse and you let the open enrollment period lapse, you'll never get health insurance. And once again, it'll be another year. And Amber Lynn is one of those people that needs health insurance. Not saying that just if she had health insurance, that means that she would start going to her doctor because if a doctor tells her anything she doesn't want to hear, then she doesn't go. But it would definitely um, offset some of those medical costs. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. Remember to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Michael B. Petty. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, toodles.